Hello sugars, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I apologize that I haven't really been posting, since there's not really much to post about Royale High now. But I'm happy I'm finally gonna make this video now. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to create this nature fairy dress without purchasing the toys. You will need this game pass to recreate the dress. Anyways, let's get started with today's video. When you're done with this tutorial, you will get this outfit. I think it is pretty accurate and it looks pretty. Credits to this person in Twitter since they did make the decals. So first of all, what you are going to do is you should put the human arms and maybe the human bodice. It depends on the items you are going to wear, but you will see. So for the bodice, it works best with the goddess of triumph, starlight, cozy sweater, or steampunk. I will show you the toggles I think you're supposed to use with all of the bodices mentioned. If you are using the Goddess of Triumph, put on toggle 14, then color all of it with one of these decals. It should look like this. If you want to use the Starlight Corset, the toggles you should use are the ones that are not cropped. I'm just gonna use this toggle. You choose any toggle you want except the crop shirt. Turn off all of these features and make the, the long sleeves rolled down. Color the shirt and the trim. Any of these decals, I'll show you how to do the sleeves soon. If you are using the cozy sweater, I recommend to not select the toggles that is cropped and have lines in them. Also choose a toggle that isn't long. I'm just gonna do this toggle. Remove the upper sleeves, lower sleeves, and the turtleneck. Oops, I forgot to put the human corset. There you go. Select all and choose whatever decal you want. It should look like this. If you wanted to use the steampunk bodas, choose toggle 16 and choose whatever decal you want. If you are using the steampunk corset, obviously remove the human bodice. I'm gonna wear the steampunk corset, but I'm also gonna out in the goddess of triumph corset for the flowers. If you are doing this too, you can use this green with the steampunk corset. For the sleeves, you can use the TTYL sleeves or the starlight sleeves. For the TTYL sleeves, use toggle one and use any decal. If you are using the starlight bodas with the starlight sleeves, you would just paint the long sleeves any of this decal. For the skirt, put an opposite a track skirt and use toggle 7. Color the skirt this decal. I'm just gonna color the laces this hot pink. Then put on the silver bell fairy skirt. I'm gonna use toggle 1. If you want, turn off all of the features, then make the skirt see-through. Color the whole skirt with this decal. For the heels, you can either choose Batmo heels or snow swan heels. I'll show you guys Batmo heels first. Choose any toggles that has pants. Then color the pants the same decal you used with your sleeves. For snow swan heels, I would just use toggle one. Remove all of the features any type of heels work. Remove feather and do opaque tights. Color the tights the same decal you used for your sleeves. Color your heels with this green if you want. If you want to, I would add the darling Valentina neck thing, use any toggle depending on which fits best. Then, I would put on the nature fairy wings to complete the outfit. Of course, you can always spice up your outfit with spring accessories and more if you like. This outfit looks really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. If this quick easy tutorial helped you, it would mean the world to me. If you subscribe, like and comment. Let me know if you want more videos like this anyways. Bye sugars.